Maybe it was just a nightmare. Alice. There you go, Alan. Hartman, I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another Ow. rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay This guy calm. has my wife. Don't want you to have another episode. Your he wants my book, clinic. doesn't he? Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Fine. Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. Just, Just let go. Go, 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 go. <sighs> Was it real or? I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't Tom think. Zane. Couldn't focus. Thomas Zane. Th there I are think... only empty sheets of paper here. I don't know. No manuscript pages. I think Thomas Zane, um, I don't know. I feel like Thomas Zane maybe had this happen to him, too. The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling Never better seen. now? Feeling calm? He did yeah. take our manuscripts. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I, I think the, the guy that was claiming to kidnap our wife was working right, for right. this guy. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll like reacquaint you. you with my clinic and go over everything you might re have forgotten. Little walk and some a fresh clinic. air? Yes, it will do you good. I guess maybe we were locked up here the first week or something. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. Night Springs. Guess I gotta watch his Night Springs. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Yeah, it's because you steal their work. That's what you do. You steal I their work. You, you steal their work. I no, I know you steal their fucking work. I ain't stupid. I know exactly together. what's going on here. I know exactly what's going this on way, here. Alan. Just like you. It makes it makes sense. He's stealing our work. Yeah, that's what he wants. He he took the manuscript from us, right? I bet you, I bet you. I bet you, I bet you. <laughs> I know, for real, though. Like, he definitely he definitely took it. There's no way he didn't. It just makes sense. Now, I don't know. Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say You're this. lying. Alice is dead. Liar. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Nope. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. How did she drown? You're suffering from hallucinations. Curious about that one. Paranoid delusions. Unusual thinking. An obsession about light and darkness. A feeling that everything revolves around you. Your well, it does, bitch. <laughs> your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario. I think you did. In me. which your writings are affecting reality. He's she made me forget the weak. Supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot. I broke so my I went future. along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your I don't believe that are one. just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it fly. will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? Well, how would you know that theory? Nature, Alan. We both know I never told you. Everything can be explained Think about that. Logically. Think about that. I never told them that. You know? He 
He's trying to let. He's trying to like get my thoughts to like believe him. I I ain't trusting you, mate. I wouldn't trust you IRL anyway. Even if, like if this happened to me and I was like knocked out and they were like, oh, this was not. It wasn't real. Blah blah blah. I'm gonna be honest. I ain't believing you. <laughs> I ain't believing you. If if I seen it and I know it happened, then I'm probably gonna do that. Memory of a dear friend and a poet. I think I found out why Thomas Zane does not have any history. He wrote a book, wrote a character that came alive and was in love with him and drowned the person he loved. And then darkness started taking over because what he wrote came alive. The reason everybody forgot him isn't just because the darkness took over. Because this guy knows who Thomas Zane is. If you get me here. That's my theory, okay? This guy is a big equation into whatever happened to Thomas Zane. And if Thomas Zane saw him today, he'd probably not like him. <sighs> never probably took his work, too. View. Very inspiring, isn't it? Call Trying to get me to write books. Below us. I could see near a peak work. on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Wait, they... Wait, what do you mean there's nothing but waves? It I see that little claw. There's a storm coming. Funny, I don't it's still weird though, like where did she drown? Because there was well, two things that happened to us. This way, follow me. Oh, my neck. My Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising. Except I remember my past memory this time. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, I this think he wants to steal my work. Relief to you. If it Personally, that's what I believe that kind of that? person he is. I think because he stole lying, Thomas Zane's work. Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well. It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the I let him talk. Hartman I'm obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside so. my head. But I, I dug my nails into the palms myself. of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin like this the guy. journey towards your recovery. I don't believe you. I don't believe a thing you're saying, motherfucker. Dude, this fly. Come along. I need to kill Let's that fly inside. already, man. But every time I do, there's just more that like come back. Here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. Scary, you were scary, impressed by my scary. trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors. Why would I be impressed by that? My character nature. doesn't like to hunt. It's wonderful. <laughs> Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I got you. Emerson. Got you good. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video games. It's trash, of course, but it does involve some small creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. You know what, Emerson? Keep going at it. That's just creepy. <laughs> That's just creepy on his own. I'm not gonna lie to you. That that was just creepy as on its own. Oh, coffee. I've seen that. The corner of my patient room. Alan, please, this way. Let me collect you, motherfucker. Like, goddamn. Alan, please, this way. Oh, it's another QR code chat. Take a screenshot of that. I mean, I don't know how good my quality of my stream is right now, but if it's good, take a screenshot of that, and you can get a video. You're welcome. I'm guessing it's a video again. I mean, it was the first time, so. 
How many coffee thermos do we have? Because I feel like we have so many. But yeah, the the one I did QR code I did earlier gave me a a video. Hartman sure had mentioned things. that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. What? Did he mention power? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember him mentioning power. A little curious on that though, because the light. Hey, yeah. La 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 la. Sorry. Hmm. Oh, hello. I've painted you. That's creepy. Okay. I was just struck He's by good, inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. Man, all all that needs to happen is like a crazy wind. Yeah, exactly. The storm is almost here. Look at that. I'd hate to be out there tonight. All right. That's just weird, man. La 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 la. Sorry. Alright, I don't think there's anything else to pick up. No more conversations. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Fuck off, stop following me. My rheumatism's killing me! <laughs> there's a storm coming! Oh! What a storm! Wait a minute, there's a I camera in my room. Place off the face we were dreaming. The TV was showing and us the future. These two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a. How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called. We seen Old them at the Gods diner, didn't we? Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC. They were at the diner, that. though. There's nothing more that can be done. So that's a little I'm curious. afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? My mom asking me, did I feed the dogs? No. You wanna know why? I'd like to be you're forcing me to take care of them. When to use them. Oh, he'd love to fish <sighs> out our secrets, but he has no clue. True. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah. Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Zane! You're all right, Tom. Hey, we like Tom. him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. True. They want me to go back to my room? I'm a bad dream, and you can't wake up. Well, he's the boss. 
I may need a hand here later on, Birch. The storm's bound to make you-know-who jumpy. You know how they get. Gotcha. The docs got me looking after Wake here, but holler if they get too rowdy. I'll do that, Birch. Hey, Wake, why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. Christ. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. It's like, please, the dishes are ready. It's like, so not my fucking fault you forced me to do it. myself. It's hard to think. Sure. There's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. Literally, I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. That was just weird eye movement, bro. Okay. Wait, do I have to hit the lighting? No. Was it Emerson's that was open? Is that really the, 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 wait? What? <laughs> I thought I thought he was supposed to be a, like a game developer or something. The white glare of the Not... black page in front of me hurt my eyes. I don't know. <laughs> my hands began to. I didn't really seem like he could really do much on there, but that's just me. Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Okay, my mom's really using the excuse that the reason why they're barking is because they're hungry. Yeah, that's why they bark at 3 a.m. Because that makes sense. I fucking hate this. <laughs> like, it's fucking pathetic, man. I'm tired of it. You're fucking animals. You don't have time for that? Put it this way. It's like, if I didn't live here, what would you do? Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key to the office room from Sinclair. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd been keeping them. It's just so annoying, man. The markings on the tape said they were recordings oh, Hartman had but... made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? He's more and more out of control all the time. I ain't got a responder. Done with this shit. He's getting violent. He's... Do you mean with you? No, not with me. No, never. I. Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me. Because at least that'd lead to a conversation he couldn't just march out of. But no. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm at my wit's end. Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. 
Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut-up of this. Just a recording. And... Is case is interesting. He was completely blocked, and frankly, I was about to discard him as useless. However, once Wake arrived and started writing, something changed in Rudolph. He's producing extraordinary work, increasingly dark pieces. Unfortunately, he doesn't respond to direction at all, and it's my belief that he's not so much a creator as an illustrator, perhaps, a recorder of sorts. I hadn't considered the existence of such a role before, let alone its implications, but the paintings he has produced are informative. At least he's easily controlled and useful. Informative. I wish I could say the same about Wake. It's frustrating that the best subjects are always so damn difficult to deal with. Alright. I'm buying that. I was tailing Wheeler, and this is the only place he could have gone. That means Wake is probably there too. Agent Nightingale. This is private property, and I will not allow you to disturb my patients. Yeah, I can get a warrant. How Why you is Nightingale after us? We don't know that yet. <laughs> oh, I'm thoroughly intimidated <sighs> by your mighty authority. Now. Nightingale's real, though, which means he's definitely after us. How would you like it if I busted through this gate and knocked you around a little? Agent Nightingale, first of all, I'm recording this conversation, so you might want to watch what you say. Secondly, you're not dealing with a hick now. I know the law, and if you can get a judge to grant a warrant, I'll be glad to cooperate. But you won't get one. Be advised that any further communications with me are to be made through my lawyer. I don't believe this. Good day, Agent. Good day, yeah. Agent. Any more? No. That's all of them. Alright. These are pretty dark, though. Is that me or somebody else? Seems to be somebody else. The photo on the wall caught my attention. That's In a it, weird the photo. Staff was standing outside the lodge. That's what I thought. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was, he a kidnapper. was the kidnapper. Hartman we knew this. Playing me all along. I mean, I knew this. I literally, I literally theoried it or theorized it. Yeah, I theorized that. I was right. Let me out of here, Hartman. Do you hear me? I'm gonna sue your crazy quack ass to split! Barry? Ow! About time! Barry! I was just Man, standing I'm glad that. to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously I'm a stuck. victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time. But I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll it's teach not you. It's not Rose's yeah. fault. That's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal. We gotta get going. I'm stuck, by the way, chat. <sighs> Just game, this game, this game, this game. But it could be my only chance. Are you serious? Are you fucking kidding me? You telling me that the chapter end wasn't the fucking voice messages, it's this? I'm not gonna touch the voice messages. I'm not gonna touch the voice messages anymore, okay? I'm just gonna do the, the thing. I, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I kinda have to listen to it in order to get the collectible out of it. I, was this here earlier? I don't think so. Maybe I missed that. Crazy, I missed something. But I'm not fucking sitting here and doing that because I got stuck on something. That wasn't love tap. The crazy old far hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she the had it coming. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my destiny. manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. It's really annoying. I still want to get in there. Did I? Yeah, there was a manuscript, I remember. Is there anything else? 
the markings on the tape I wish I could said skip this. recordings this Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, we have to like literally listen to those, which is really nice. Barry? Ow! About time! Barry! Sweet. Man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The cops found me a Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me. I know the story already, so I'm just gonna do it right away. These were all the pages I had already. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back Shh, into the... Tell me one more lie, and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. No, Let's you lied to me. On this. You, you pretended no you kidnapped right, my wife, up. too. Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. No, you With just want to use my word. My... Really? I hate that it does damage though, like it does. It does a lot of damage. TV first. Most of us have felt its shadow on us. A shiver down oh, your back. God. A glimpse from the corner of the eye. You can't find it on purpose. But take a wrong turn. Board the wrong bus. Wonder where you are when you wake up. And you will find yourself in the small town of Night Springs. Tonight's episode, The Doomed Samaritan. The Doomed Samaritan. Sometimes... Even the simplest things prove impossible. Consider, you get in a car and leave a life behind. Easy? What? Not tonight. Thanks for the ride, Mark. I'm so glad to be leaving this place. You have no idea. What, Night Springs? Come on, Linda, relax. It's not that bad. What hey, the fuck? what's that up ahead? Oh, God. There's someone in the road. I think there's been an accident. Why don't you have seen the accident? <laughs> Fuck. Are you alright? Unless oh, they no, ran Linda. into them, I guess. But... Oh no! It was me on the road! I... Wait! Tell him to watch out for the truck! Watch out for the truck! My... My god, Mark! Ah! 
What? For the ride, Mark. I'm so glad to be leaving this place. What, Night Springs? Come on, Linda, relax. Not that bad. Hey, what's that up ahead? Oh, God. Does it just repeat? I think there's been an accident. Is it just repeating and that's it? It's repeated by itself, so this isn't the end. Are you alright? Oh, no, Linda! Oh, no! Is Put me on the road! I. Wait! I didn't start the intro, so it's not like I did something, you know. My God, Mark! Why did it play twice? A vicious cycle, brutally punctuated by the blast of the air horn and screaming metal. You guys see those eyes? Is that just me, or I see something there? More so than the one that leads away from Night Spring. One more time. Oh, that really hit me still. Okay. Oh, fuck. What's up, bitch? My bad. I dodged it, you know, like stupidly. Curious on how I dodge this though. Ow, ow, I'm here. I'm a bear, I'm coming. Just give me a couple minutes. Where did everyone go though? You know what I mean? See the coffee thing. Sorry, right, Barry, you're gonna have to wait, make sure I don't get miss any collectibles. Is this door go back in? I mean yes, but it's like whatever happened to everyone else that was in there though, you know? Like, can we not rescue them or what? I don't think there's any letters. I found the car, but the gate's locked! You're gonna have to go I through the hedge maze over there! Barry, the maze? I don't have a light. What dumbass Take for the this, maze? Al. No, don't do this, Al. Oh, God. Look at the I wanna house, help that guy. Probably go left. Never mind. <laughs> first, first turn wrong. Not a good start. All right. Oh, great. Probably go left this time. course that was the wrong direction so is, is it just right every time or what seems like it is there anything back here don't trust M email M I wanted to read Emily which is a weird word but okay manuscript 
Oh, wait, there's revolver ammo and everything there. Might as well take that. I was gonna hit. <sighs> Any collectibles? Thank you. Gotta get all those manuscripts, you know. Barry's okay, chat. I don't know. Barry seems like he's gonna die. You get two in the morning, and then you'll be nice. Let's just Barry. Somebody else. Why the hell is he all the way over here, though? Sorry, but it was fucking. I didn't mean to throw that. Fuck. Off stupid birds. Coffee. God damn dumb minorities. Those things get super duper annoying. If that wasn't obvious. What was that for? Why are you Why is the sheriff out here? Cause last time I checked, the sheriffs weren't here. Maybe they are now. I don't know. A lot of manuscripts, though, which is crazy. I didn't know if there was any more. I might even get literally the whole every trophy in the game just because. D maybe not that, because the difficulties, I'm sure, is a trophy, but I mean specifically, like, collectibles. Like, I might. I don't know. My bad. I mean, it's possible, you know. But yeah, I'll escape this place, and then we'll uh, we'll 
probably end and just pick it up tomorrow, or depending on dogs are barking tonight. Just want to beat the game, you know? We're dealing with this fucking household. This, uh... There's enemies up ahead. I'm just making sure there's no collectibles. Ow, my leg. My foot. My foot. Damn fly wants to keep like going to the camera almost. It's so annoying. I didn't even see you. What? What? Where? Motherfucker, where did you come from? I hate that you can't dodge while you're reloading so that you just get do 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 like the literal enemies do that like I'm sorry but like the fuck god damn they need to learn how to use the skits in the first place but fucking Christ man that shit's so fucking annoying it really is though come on almost two full health bars by that too it's like one swing literally did that much damage so the second one could have done exactly the same amount just not fun those crows are gonna attack me again by the way if that wasn't obvious unfortunately See that manuscript but first. Grab what we gotta get. Grab what we gotta get. Gotta get get get. Alright. Ah oh, shit, but yeah, I I feel like I've gotten most manuscripts, you know. If not all, I don't know, man. I don't think it really matters. Cause it doesn't like I don't know. Ow! You're alive! Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Bad feeling. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... Four. Plus the crows. Hurry up, Barry. Come on, come on it. What the hell are you coming from? The fuck? Wait, what? Bro, I'm sorry, but they should not be able to do that. God damn. There's a guy behind me. Fuck me. How do they expect this? I'm sorry, but these enemies are just not legit. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? They just kept jumping over the fence and being right directly behind me. It's like, why the hell aren't they going after Barry then? You know, like the fuck? Like, they literally hopped right over this fence. Yeah, like... Yeah, but they shouldn't be able to do that. Especially if they're not able to climb half of the shit in the game. Ugh. Oh, okay, that was dumb. Oh, I hate these guys. Oh, that's bullshit. 
bullshit. I dodged, but it didn't want to dodge twice in a row. I love that. The dodge mechanic is pointless. There shouldn't be a dodge mechanic. I'm just gonna say it. There really shouldn't. I mean, I dodged one of three dodges. And I was pressing the button, you know, you could see the character dodging, but unfortunately that's not how that works. It takes too long. Let's uh, take care of this guy. Alright. Take care of this. I'm sorry, but that that isn't really annoying. He found the key. Wow, a little late. Cause now I can't run. Oof. Nope, motherfucker, get away. Wait, why did he take the for the nearest? You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. <laughs> you know what? You owe me. I gotta look for my this. wife, mate. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. Okay. Henderson is taken over by the darkness now and also the FBI Nightingale specifically knows now so wonder what they did with Rose though I'm crazy but that's fine Mary <laughs> oh you got that right Al you're barking mad you are by far the craziest but maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this it helps this is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Ow, how can you know that? I know, Barry, I can- Ow, I- No, listen, I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something mm. special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. Oh. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. Sure. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! Tell me little pebbles did the head <laughs> they look tiny. <laughs> I mean most of them did. Maybe not all of them, but Alright. Alright. God damn it, I'll talk to me! So after this cutscene, I'm gonna mute my mic, I'm gonna end, so because the dogs are fucking barking. I hate living here. Um yeah, this is it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Sorry there's not gonna be an outro, I'm gonna ra raid, but I'm gonna end right away so I don't have to deal with this shit.